Hi, it's Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a video on scientific notation. Um, scientific notation is used to express numbers which are very, very large or very, very small, because if you use the number and it's really large or really small, what happens is you get um, bogged down with a huge number of zeros. So scientific notation is a nice shorthand to help us with that aspect. Um, for example, if you were um, doing a report and you had to give some details about particles in the atom, um, you will encounter what we just talked about. Um, it has this form right here, right? Now, A would represent some number, and that number will be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, all right? And this other part right here, which is the exponent part, give you some, also gives you some valuable information. Um, it tells you how many decimal places you have to move and also in which direction. Now, how will you know the direction? You will know whether the exponent is negative or positive. If the exponent is negative, you move the decimal to the left. If the exponent is positive, you will move the decimal to the right. Now, don't panic if you don't understand what I just said, because we'll have some examples to express it. Okay. Now, we have a couple of numbers here. In these two examples, these are scientific notation. They can ask you to put it in standard form or a regular number. And these guys right here, these are regular numbers, right? And we're going to put those into scientific notation using the information we just talked about. Okay. Now, we have 1.2 times 10 to the third power, right? And you can be asked to put it into regular standard form. So the first thing you do is look at the exponent, okay? And you see that you have an exponent of 3, right? Okay, so you know you have to move the decimal three places. Now, you don't want to guess which direction the exponent is positive, so the decimal will be moved to the right, okay? Because that was our rule over here. If it's positive, you move the decimal to the right. So what we're going to do now, we will move this decimal, right, three places to the right, and that will give us our answer. Okay, so let's go. We have 1.2, right? So you move it three places to the right. So you go 1, okay, that's 1, 2, 3, okay? And what you do, you fill these spaces in with zeros. All right, so what's going to happen is our final answer will be 1, 2, 0, 0, or 1,200. And you're done, okay? Uh, let's do the next one. This is 4.56, right, times 10 to the negative 4. Now, once again, we look at the exponent. We see that the exponent is negative. So let's give us some information. A number is smaller than 1, okay, when it's negative. And how many places do we move it? We have to move it four places. So if we have to move it four places and we have a negative exponent, we have to move it to the left. So we move that four places to the left. So we have um, 4.56 right here, right? This one's right here. So you go one place. All right, that's one, two, three, four. So we wind up here. So decimal, we eventually go there, right? Right here, decimal. That'll be a zero. That'll be a zero. That'll be a zero. So our final answer will be this guy right here. It'll be zero, three zeros, four, five, six. Okay, so once again, what did we just do? We move the decimal, right, four places to the left. How do we know to do that? Because we have a four right there. We have a negative exponent, right? So we get one, two, three, four. There's our decimal. We fill these guys in with zeros. Okay, those are three zeros right here. One, two, three. And this four, five, six, we must have it in our final answer. And that's what we have here. Okay, so point zero, 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 four, five, six. That was the original number. Okay. Now let's do the opposite. You can be given a regular decimal number like this or some regular standard number and be asked to. So let's do this one. All right, so we have all these zeros in the front and two, three, eight. So if we look at this number, we know that it's less than one, right? So we know, when we, that's, we know that for sure. We have to remember that because we know that's gonna make our exponent negative, all right? So what we're gonna do next is Keep the thought that our exponent is negative and move this decimal right here. Now remember, the final answer, right, in terms of this guy right here, the, the first part, must 
follow this rule right here. It must be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So we have to move the decimal and stop until we get to that point. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 2.38 is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Okay, so what's going to happen is we'll write down 2.38. Eight, right and we move the decimal 10 places so we put times 10 to the negative 10 now how do we get negative 10 we move the decimal 10 places okay and since this original number right the whole original number is less than 1 the exponent has to be negative so we didn't make that number up so that will be our final answer for that guy right there okay and this last one over here we have this big number right here, right? Because, you know, the decimal's in the back here. And it's just a big number, so we put it in a uh, scientific notation. So we simply move the decimal again. So we're going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. Now, 6.5, okay, once again, is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So 6.5 goes there, all right? Okay, for the first part. Now, it'll be times what? We move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places, right? So what's going to happen? It will be 6.5 times 10 to the 7, and it will be a positive exponent since this original number right here, right, is greater than 1. So once again, remember, positive exponents means your number is greater than 1. Negative exponents means your number is less than one. Okay, so I hope this video was a help. Hard work and sacrifice always equals to success. So study, study, study. Take care.